Uh, my name is Levi Ponce. I'm from Pacoima, California. Uh, I paint murals. I mean, that's what I do. Well, my dad's a muralist as well. He's, he paints signs, but he would do on the weekends, on time off, you know what I mean? Um, he would paint murals. So I always wanted to do it. But when I started doing it, I really wanted to take it to the next level. I felt that I could. So, you know, I just, I just pushed myself. I just want to be the best painter I can be, I guess. Um, I try and do something different every time. I try and keep things positive, lighthearted, and try and paint things that kind of unify everybody. You know, I don't try and sell a specific message. I just try and paint, you know, something that I think everybody would enjoy. And I grew up in Pacoima, which is the second largest concentration of Latino people here in the United States. So growing up there, you know, you realize that, you know, you go to Hollywood, there's all these murals and you see all these images, you see all these ads, and, you know, it's mostly white people in these ads. And, you know, I wanted to rep some of our stuff. So, you know, I put up, you know, iconic images of not just Latinos, but minorities in general. I always wanted to share my art and I guess the easiest way to share it is to put it on the street and if you want to share it even more you make it bigger right I don't know I guess I like the challenge I think uh, you know I, I want to like I just want to shoot for the top you know I want to do the hardest most difficult things I want to try I, I, I want to be the best I can be or try to be the best I can be well there's like 20 ideas going on like at any given day um, I'm usually working on two or three different murals at a time I feel life is short and I feel it slipping through my fingers and I want to be able to do as much as I can, you know? I designed the murals and then I put out the word that anybody can come help and people come out, people hit me up, people stop by, people see me. I don't pay people, there's no pay. <laughs> it changes people's lives, it's miracles. I mean, you're witnessing miracles, you know what I mean? It, it really does change people's lives. I've seen it take people off of drugs, even if it's just temporary, while people work, they respect the artwork enough to stay clean. I've seen people, you know, try and go back to school because of it. You know, they're artists, but once they come out and work on the mural, they're like, where did you learn this? Or I went to school. The only thing uh, that I spend money on is the paint. I don't pay the volunteers, you know, it's all out of pocket. And um, I provide lunch, so you come out, you get lunch, and you get to paint. You know, I provide all the supplies, brushes, paint, scaffolding, ladders. I pay for everything. Yeah, I work like everybody else. I do digital compositing at New Deal Studios. I teach part-time at Merlin Creative, um, which is an animation school for kids on the autism spectrum. So I work. I mean, I'm a working man. And, you know, when I'm not working, I do murals. I guess I want to keep riding the wave. You know what I mean? I just don't want to stop. You know, it's what I like to do, and I just want to keep doing it. Um, you know, as hard as it's been, it's also been the most rewarding thing I've ever done. So I don't plan on stopping and I don't plan on slowing down. I, I paint people. I mean, all of my murals, is, it's portraits. Um, I paint people. People inspire me. People are so damn interesting. <laughs> so always surprising. Um, seems like they're always predictable, but at the same time, you know, there's always that random factor. I don't know, people fascinate me. So people inspire me. Um, when I, most of my work in Pacoima is inspired by people in Pacoima. No, I've been very fortunate. I, everybody seems to love what I do, and find, like I said, find people like yourselves come out and you know meet me, meet people that I bring, and everybody seems to love each other. It's been nothing but a positive experience, and I couldn't complain. And uh, you know, I, I have absolutely no complaints. I mean, I'm living a dream. <laughs>